Uh, David, the uh, news from Apple this morning sent just a few minutes ago is regarding uh, those steps that Apple was taking uh, to combat child images of child sexual exploitation. They were going to scan user devices, including iPhones, including maps, uh, sorry, including Macs for those images. They said they were going to do it in a way that did not actually look at all of the images on a user's phone, but nonetheless was going to be able to make matches to a database uh, using a, a hashed system. But Apple is hitting pause on that. The statement reads in part, last month we announced plans for features intended to help protect children from predators who use communication tools to recruit and exploit them and limit the spread of child sexual abuse material. Apple says we've decided to take additional time over the coming months to collect input and make improvements before releasing these critically important child safety features. So the indication from Apple, they still plan to do this, at least in this statement, but just not immediately. And when they say in the coming months, given that we normally get an announcement of new iPhones here in September, they begin to ship shortly thereafter, perhaps new Macs or the hardware for the uh, holiday season, we probably shouldn't expect to see these features roll out until 2022. Uh, this happens as Apple has also just taken this step to uh, settle uh, with uh, a clash action suit having to do with the App Store and make changes to the App Store given uh, pressure from the government in Japan. So uh, Apple reconsidering quite a few of its policies and procedures this week, guys. All right. Uh, John, thank you for that news. John Fort. Uh